Hey, what is up, guys? This is James, and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily copy zoom in effect from one clip to another clips on your timeline. Suppose here is a video, right? So I have completed the face cam part, and now I want to add some videos. Maybe I want to use some text for the videos, right? So if I go here on this folder, right, this is the image folder. If I click here, then I can see there are several images that I want to use. Suppose I want to use this image here. So if I zoom into the timeline, I can adjust the duration of this image. Maybe I want to use this much. And again, I want to use another image. Maybe I want to use this one here. I want to short the duration of this clip a little bit. Maybe this much then i can uh, take any clip here i can adjust the duration that i want then this one maybe i want to make it a little bit smaller then this one again this one i'm just randomly adjusting the duration so when you are adding the clips on your timeline as a viral maybe you are not using the same length of this clip right so that is the thing that i want to demonstrate here again here is a clip now if i play it back you'll see the image it is not looking pretty right so now you have to adjust the size of your image so that it fits with your sequence so i have to adjust this one maybe i want to adjust this till maybe i want to make it 100 percent right just write 100 then press enter or you can adjust a little bit more to fill it up and then again you can click the motion properties and you can copy and paste the properties to the images right so that it fill up the whole space if you found any images too much zoom then you can just decrease the zoom in this much maybe you want to decrease the size of this one a little bit so you can adjust the size of your videos right now I like to use a subtle zoom in effect when I am using images as a viral. So what I can do, I can select the image, then I can go here, which is the effects control panel. If you don't see effects control panel, you have to go here, which is windows, then just go here and select effects control, right? Enable this one, then you will see this panel will appear. So just go at the beginning of your image, then add a keyframe from here, which is position and scale. You can add keyframe for both properties right and then just forward few frames and then you can scale it up a little bit so that it will have a zoom in effect right this much and then you have to click and drag this keyframe at the end of your clip now if i play it back you can see there is a subtle zoom in effect now i want to copy this animation on every single clip here right so if I select the clip, then if I go here, which is effects control panel, I can select the motion and then I can right click and then I can copy, right? And then if I paste it here or if I paste it here, what will happen? If I paste it here, you'll see the keyframe is not positioned properly, right? It stops here. I have to manually click and drag this one at the end of my clip, which I don't want. So what I can do? I have to select the first clip that I have already animated then right click and go here and click copy right just click it then select all the clips then right click and then you have to click paste attributes you can select which properties you want to copy suppose I want to copy the motion right so I have to select this one I don't want to copy opacity or time remapping I just want to copy the motion so just selecting motion I can copy that effect on every single clip if i press ok now what happened you can see the keyframe is positioned properly on every single clip here you can see the keyframe is positioned properly if i play it back you'll see the animation is happening here that animation is properly working here on every single clip the animation is properly working so that's it that is a simple method that you can follow to copy a effect from one clip to another clips using adobe premiere Pro. i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're in this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one other than goodbye